Hello and welcome back to Digging for Drez. This time around, we're launching a new lab module to the space station. It's also got a uh, docking node on it. So, it's starting to become a real functional piece of space hardware. Launching atop the uh, Saturn 1B launch vehicle once again. This is starting to become a real workhorse of this space program. We will soon be launching a uh, crew rotation mission as well. Because uh, Bill and Bob have been up there for a couple of months. It's starting to become about time for them to return. Although, with Bill being the only scientist we currently have employed, he might have to stay there a bit longer to make this lab work. Also taking a uh, rather vertical route to space because this first stage doesn't exactly have the highest thrust to weight of any rocket. I've also been playing around with uh, stage recovery in the interim between episodes, and with 18 parachutes on, if I follow it, this first stage does land perfectly. The question is whether or not the uh, stage recovery mod will let me actually recover the parts. It should, but it doesn't really like me very much. Every other rocket I've put parachutes on has not been recovered. Get that nose down. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Miko. They get the parachutes. Fire the second stage. And off we go. Now that should be recovered, as I said. If it's not, I'm going to be so miffed. Here we are, heading into space. And we're coming up in front of the station, so it means we'll have to go higher. What's our inclination? Yeah. 1.4. Yep, fairings next in the stage. Now that we're far enough out of the atmosphere, let's lose the fairing. Very nice. And here is a look at the uh, module. It's got obviously the lab but also life support, docking, and also its own orbital engine. And these. It's got these containers on the side, and apparently we are a bit hot. No matter. 
nice. We are very close to the station. So, we'll see what's in these containers once we dock this thing. So I'm not going to get rid of the second stage just yet. I'll use that f to uh, bring in our encounter nice and close. And then for final guidance I'll use this little engine and the RCS. But then once it's on the station this whole lot will detach and deorbit itself. Looks like we're coming in above the station, which is where we want to be. Because we're going to. St okay, we need to be on the other side of the station, apparently. But that's alright. So now. Coming in. To kill off all that velocity. There we are. Now we can ditch that, it'll fly away, never to bother this station again. So we also want to be coming in underneath the station. Okay, we don't want to be going quite that fast. Okay, so does target, bring up the docking UI. And we're moving away from it, so that's good, means we won't hit it. Correct. Rotate this way. There we are. So let's see. Get it all lined up here. Start moving in. Straight. And 
docked. There we are. So now we can come in here, decouple that. Where are we? There we are. So now this has its own control. So we can just point retrograde, fire up that engine, and switch back to the station. Off it goes. It'll eventually crash. So now we have plenty of life support on this. And bloody hell. Stage recovery just does not work with the new atmosphere. Simple as that. Look at this, terminal velocity 104 meters per second. Bullshit. Whatever. We are not here to complain about such things. Now, I don't know which one of these Kerbals is the engineer. Okay, Bill's the engineer, Bob's the scientist. Noted. So, Bob, you can go into the lab. Let's see here. Start research. S researching the rate zero science per day. Hmm. Weird. Oh yeah, there's a new IVA for the lab. Nice! I've not looked in here yet. Oh, look at that. Test tubes. Fans. Why that beaker isn't floating around, I don't know. But we don't worry about such things. Now! Bill! We have a job for you. This is a very important job. Because you may have noticed, as yet, there is only surface mount static solar panels on this station. We need to set it up to be ready to accept extendable panels. So that's what we've got here. So we'll open up Bill's inventory here, if he will stop flying around like that. Put it in there. Equip. There we are. Now it's in, in his hand. Now, if we fly back here, we can open this up again. Okay. Um, how do we do this? Aha! Right there. There we go. So what we're doing here is we're building out trusses to stick subtle panels on. Put you there. Very nice. Just as if we had done it in the VAB. Now we can do the same thing on this side. And you can see in there the uh, life support things. So that's food, water, and air. Let's see. Open that. Let's move sideways here a bit. Yep, about there. Okay, it's apparently dependent on the orientation of the Kerbal. It's very hard to do this on EVA with not well, grabbing onto stuff. So let's actually grab onto stuff. Let's grab him there. So he's flat and not going to spin around now. Yeah. 
So just like in the VAB, shift to you do small rotations. Okay, this is gonna annoy me. I can't grab it though. Oh well. That's a pretty good job though. So now we've got truss segments that we can stick solar panels on at a later date. We've also got docking ports and some lights so that visiting spacecraft can see where they're docking to. Awesome. Get back in there. Let's see, what about this lab? Get rid of that nerve ball, we don't need it. Still zero science per day. What if we bring Bill in to help him? Something tells me we will need um, more experienced scientists in order to uh, make full use of this lab. But the point is we have a lab on it. And it's a rather respectable space station if I do say so myself. Um, why is that floating away? Okay, I think that's a glitch with the Kerbal Attachment System. They've come off. Why have they come off? Either I'm a derp and missing something, or Kerbal Attachment System is broken. Yeah, open inventory, that's all well and good, but... I thought you were able to pick up stuff. Like, unattach and reattach things. He's got the spanner there. He should be able to do things. Well, as I said, I'll look into that in a later episode. Or in the interim, whatever. And now we're launching a uh, transfer stage for a set of Minmus missions we have lined up. This rocket is now launching pretty much its maximum payload. I had to try three times to get this thing to launch properly. Every other time it just would go over way too steep. And I did look into Kerbal Attachment System and Stage Recovery and it turns out I didn't have the latest version of Stage Recovery. So we'll see how that works out in the uh, next episodes, but Kerbal Attachment System is still a bit of a uh, problem. I do have the latest version, but it seems a lot of people have been having other issues. So we'll see the use of this transfer stage in the next episode, and probably run into a lot more trouble with mods. So until then, see you guys later.